We've all heard the saying, new year, new body, but it can be quite challenging to stick with that resolution. Katie Clotter has a story on how to turn that resolution into a lifestyle. The treadmill, the elliptical, and the bikes don't have to be your enemy, as the start of the new year brings new weight loss goals for many. Members at Anytime Fitness were already active and sweating it out. A lot of people get frustrated when they come in and don't see results. So what I always try to tell people is it's not always about the number on the scale or how you're looking, but more importantly, how you're feeling. There is also a certain trend. After the first few days into the year, the gym traffic seems to fade out. For the first couple weeks to a month to two months, we see a lot of people who sign up, but then as it gets nicer is when we see who's really sticking with it. Several exercises can be done that don't take much time, like the Stairmaster or lifting weights. Working out on the treadmill is a quick and effective way to exercise. Whether walking or running, you can burn hundreds of calories. Each person is different, so not everyone will have the same goals. Some might be weight loss, some might be building muscle. So it's not just a generic workout that everybody can do. I mean, there is, but you know, we tailor workouts specific to people's goals and needs and stuff like that. As a personal trainer, their main job is to motivate a client and help them reach their goals, whatever they may be. Seems like, you know, every year after January, all the New Year's resolutions, people um, just fall off the map, stop coming into the gym. So having that accountability as a trainer, um, motivating somebody to motivate you. Rich Howe is using this new year to continue his transformation that began last year. It took a wake-up call for him to change his life. I got my second DWI about a year and a half ago, and uh, I haven't drank in 540 days. And I could make a change there, so I decided to make a change in my lifestyle. Hal trained six days a week and has lost nearly 40 pounds in the process. He surpassed his weight loss target and continues to lose more weight. I started off here at 319 pounds, and I'm 280 now with muscle. And now I'm starting a new program called Shred. It's, it's a six-week program, and my goal is to get to 265. On your mark, get set, go train. In Bemidji, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. Remember, any goal you set is possible as long as you're willing to do the work. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.